right, guys. So in our first game here versus Juanma. I don't know lightning. So uh, great name. Awesome name, actually. And let's go ahead and just give a little squirt from our water bottle here. And now we have officially won the game because there's no physical way somebody can beat you after you squirt some water in your mouth. And it looks like right now it could be a mirror match up here in this first game. We got Miner and he has Lava Hound and Lava Hound and Miner are relatively the same cards in the same deck so we do have an advantage though because we have these spear goblins coming out and it is looking more and more likely like a mirror matchup but we'll still have to see here for a moment uh mega Man will come down and it's looking really much like a mirror matchup right now so let's just go ahead and poison this hopefully those spear goblins will target something um correctly but we'll have to see spear goblins look like they will fall so that kind of stinks but it is what it is let's go with the baby dragon now and hopefully is able to one shot no it is not so now we're gonna have to tank uh for these lava pups here in a moment and we weren't able to get that miner down i didn't want to initially but probably should have uh to force him to go in a little more but that's fine so it is a mere matchup our first game this deck is very very popular a lot of people saying it's very brain dead like uh, because all you have to do is just plop your hut down and then wait for them to overcommit. i'm gonna go in with a lava hound and our cycle seems to be a little better than his because he has to go into our Goblin Hunt and he hasn't used the Goblin Hunt yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and use our Lava Hound now. And we have a Mega Minion ready to go here. And we'll use it in a moment. Here comes his own Mega Minion. We're actually going to go ahead and go with a Mega Minion on his Lava Hound right away. So that way our Spear Goblins and everything could just keep on churning up. And then uh, we're going to go with a Miner on his side. So now this Miner is actually really important to us because now we'll be able to get a little bit of tankage coming out here. The Lava Pups... Shooting away on that tower, doing quite a bit of damage since they got that recent buff. And we'll go with the Baby Dragon here on defense now. He is within poison range. 216 is the magical number. And let's just go with a, uh, another Goblin Hunt over here. I feel like we can defend this low-key. Um, and we will just send in a Barb Barrel, I guess, to the tower. It'll force him to defend right away. Now that is going to be a decent poison. We'll take out the tower as well as take out everything else. So... Again, we're in a decent spot. Could be better, could be worse. Looks like we possibly will have a tower trade here. And I feel like we will. So now we're just gonna go ahead and set up another Goblin Hut right over here. And oh no, it actually got targeted. Okay, that is really unfortunate. Well, let's go ahead and go with the Lava Hound over here. We will have that Goblin Hut for us this time around. And we haven't been able to use our barbs really at all. Uh, this will be a decent poison for sure. Catch the Mega Man Baby Dragon as well as that Lava Hound. And now, I feel like we can just go barbs right in the pocket. Uh, that seems like a pretty decent play to me. So, we'll go ahead and hit him with that. And we'll go with the baby dragon to tank for our mega minion here. And now we should have a really good push coming in. If we can save up, get another lava hound right in the pocket, that would be insane. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what we can do. So, oh, are you serious? That mega minion got locked on. Feels bad. Okay, that's all right, though. It's not the end of the world. If we can get this miner down, that would be huge as well. Boom. No, Mega Minion is going to get targeted. That's still fine. We're going to get a couple pups on the tower, and we do take a small damage lead. Nothing crazy. Just decent. Oh, shoot. I probably shouldn't have played my hut there, but that's fine. We'll go Barbarians for his Barbarians, and then we'll go Barbarrel as well. I think he liked my plan a little bit. Uh, too much. <laughs> so, we'll go with an aggressive Mega Minion up here to just to keep him at bay. And we'll go with a Baby Dragon right here as well. Mega Man Baby Dragon Push should be able to finesse a good chunk of this out. So we'll have to see. And then we'll go with a Lava Hound right in the pocket. Yes, sir, we will. So Lava Hound down. Let's go with our Mega or Miner right here. And we should be chilling for all intents and purposes. And we'll go with a nice poison here. The poison will protect us for the time being. And we'll go with the Goblin Hunt over here on the inside. You're going to have to trust me on that placement there. And we'll have to go Barbarians right here since he just wasted his barbs. We'll go with our barbs. Just to take him out real quick. And then all we have to really do is just go down with that Lava Hound over here. And we should be in great shape. So, Baby Dragon going to be over here. Hopefully, will help us out. We got Triple Elixir coming down as well. Let's throw in that Miner. And let's go in with a Mega Minion back here. As long as we can get a couple shots off. Yes, that will be GG's. Well played. See you later, Juanma. And there we go. Mirror matchup. First game. And we take the double seed in game number two. Alrighty, guys. So, into our second game here versus Beskitas. And again, we're just going to go ahead and sit tight. We are playing a Lava Hound deck, so it is okay to play in Double Elixir. That's when you're preferring it, because you want to be able to get those Lava Hounds down and support them with whatever you can. 
Um, this deck is pretty defensive. You want to be able to play defense and counter push off it. That last game you saw, he was way too aggressive. He was Lava Hound first play. That's a really dumb first off. Unless you have something really good on defense that someone bridge spams, you're kind of screwed in this uh, and with this specific deck. Unless you have Barbarians or something, you still have to wait for two Elixirs. So if they go Battle Ram at the bridge first play and you go Lava Hound, yikes. That's going to be a lot of tower damage. And he's giving us the good luck. We'll go ahead and give him the good luck and the bicep curl. Bing, bang, bang, chillang. All right. If this guy doesn't play anything until the one minute mark, we'll go ahead and skip there now. Alrighty guys, so 10 seconds left till double elixir. What we're going to do first play is a goblin hut right in the middle here. Uh, so once we get down to two seconds left on the clock, we'll go ahead and throw that hut down. There we go. So now we'll get the bonus elixir. And it seems like he is playing golem. So let's go ahead and go with our mega Man in the back. Uh, we'll go to the lava hound second play. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he was interesting. We have no idea really what the heck is this deck. All right. We are obviously versing a very interesting deck. We're just going to go chill with that poison for right now. Go ahead and throw in this, and we should be in a decent spot. And that is going to come down and hopefully going to take care of it. It doesn't seem likely. Let's go with a bar barrel now. Bar barrel will go ahead and clean up just about everything, and now we'll be able to get a second llama hound down. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those spear goblins right now. Oh, my God. That was so many spear goblins. Okay. That was kind of crazy. Not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like that's my new word of the day. Not going to lie. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and wait. We'll go with a minor right here in the pocket, and we should be in a good spot. Oh, he's going to predict it. Okay, I see you. I see you. So, Lava Pup's going to come down. They will clean up that, and just like that, look at the damage lead right now. We got him down to 1,400 HP. He's going to go ahead and go with a Giant in the back. So, I feel like our best bet, honestly, just go with a Mega Minion and Lava Hound at the bridge. Um, it'll force him to stop his push right in his tracks, so and we can get a ton of value out of Barbs uh, if that is the case. So, let's go ahead and go with this guy right here. Um, and we should be able to get some juicy barbs to come down. And, ooh, we're going to have to poison first, and then we'll have to go with those barbs. Uh, so that is our option right now. Got a Mega Minion and everything over there on that tower. Should be all right for right now. Let's go with a Miner in the back. And, again, we should have a good amount of damage. No Skarmy comes out from my man. Let's go with that Barb Barrel right away here. Barb Barrel is going to come down. Again, should give us that little bit of value. Nothing crazy. The Night Witch should die. There it goes. And these Spear Goblins are going to be really annoying. Because he really can't let any of them connect anymore. And if he does, he's going to lose the game. So, uh, that is where he's at right now. Let's go to the Miner right here. We'll put in that Poison. Boom. And as long as he can't take us out here in this moment of time, we should have enough with that Miner. I think. This will be really close. But, alright. Here we go. Goblin Hut's going to come down. Let's throw that just that Barb Barrel over here. And then we'll go in with Barbs. We'll go with the Miner in the back. Hit him with that Poison. And now it's a base race. And we will be able to clutch up here. 700 HP. So close yet so far. And wowza, wowza, wowza. We will see you guys here in the next game. Huh. Alrighty, guys. So in our next game versus Heina. Heart from Circumpolar Star. Well, let's go ahead and give him the Goblin Hut here first play. He's going to do it to us, so might as well do it right back to him. Um, we'll go ahead and wait a little bit, and then we'll go with our Barb Barrel um, at the bridge. And we should be chilling, so let's go ahead and do it. For his next wave of Spear Gobs, and there it is. So it looks like it is going to be another mirror matchup. I told you this deck is all over the place right now, so no surprise seeing a mirror matchup here. Uh, we'll see a couple of his Spear Goblins hit our tower here. But we should have the advantage because he's on our side and our hut is still alive. Which means he's going to spawn at least another Spear Goblin or two here. So we'll have to see. Let's go with that Mega Minion for the Barb. So that way he can't really do anything against us. And this is already looking like GG right now, boys. Uh, we have a Baby Dragon down. The Mega Minion will clean up as well. And then we will be in a really, really nice spot to start off. Um, let's go ahead and go with the Miner right over here. Mega Minion has 1 HP right now, which is crucial for our success. And there we go. Mega Minion, Baby Dragon, all fighting each other right here, right now. So Miner's going to go ahead and tank for us for a little bit. And our Baby Dragon eventually does die. But look at those Lava Pups. Going to go ahead and destroy that tower. And bringing it down to about 1,000 HP. 1,069. Not too bad, if you ask me. And we can go ahead and Lava Hound again. Because... He's going to be in a pretty bad spot right here, right now. Let's go Lava Hound at the bridge with a Mega Minion right behind it. This is going to be a very scary combo for him because he's going to have to defend with something weird if he wants to be able to stop us. And Mega Minion will get pulled back. He's got 16 seconds left till Double Elixir. Not sure why he's going to Miner there. He's just trying to get a little bit of chip damage. 
I don't see why right now. That is probably not the best play. We're going to go barbs right here in the pocket. They're going to get their first little bit of damage off on his tower. He's going to finally come in with that poison. Uh, poison will not be enough, though, to take care of all the barbs. Those barbs are going to get a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, bringing down to 1356 and dropping very fast. So let's go ahead and go with another Goblin Hut. Again, I told you it's all about the counter pushes. When you know your opponent's down on Elixir, that's when you go in and you go in hard. Let's go with the Baby Dragon on defense here. We know he's going to use his Baby Dragon. He does not have a Mega Minion, so we'll go with our Mega Minion. And when he sends in his Miner in the back, we'll catch it with some Barbs. Oh my goodness, we're on fire right now. All right, what else can you say? Not much, because this is all but over. We're going to hit him with the Houdini, the Wombo Combo. This is called the I See You play. And this is called Miner Lava Hound in the pocket. And then he'll most likely go something on defense. And he goes with the Mega Minion and the Goblin Hut there. So our Goblin Hut still spawning goblins. Our Mega Minion with one HP doing so much work. This is crazy. Are we going to be able to get this two crown? Highly doubt it, but still, we're able to pick up the dub. Oh, we are going to pick up the second crown. So we'll just go Hut right here in the pocket, and that will do it. GG's. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.